Before we get into the video, people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins every single month. To be in with a chance of win them, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. More details on the giveaway are in the video description. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today, I've been doing another Apex Legends video and today, guys, we have new images of future legends coming to the game. Now, if you are a follower of my channel, you will know I don't miss any news or leaks and I make it my job, my number one priority to bring you guys all the information I believe you deserve to know on the game. Yes, I have made many videos talking about legends coming to the game, but each video has always showcased new information and I don't plan on stopping yet. Today we have new images of 10 legends coming to the game, possibly season 1, 2, 3 or even 4 legends, which is cool to think about. So in total there are 10 legends to check out today, we have some artwork for some legends and even in-game renders for others. So let's start. So firstly let's cover the new images of legends we already have heard of. And firstly, we have Octane, aka Octavia Silva, a stuntman daredevil who was paralyzed when a stunt went wrong. Rebuilt and returning in season one with the Battle Pass and the Owl Star. Octane will be the first new legend introduced into the world of Apex Legends. So on screen now we see this new in-game artwork for Octane. Looks pretty dark, but pretty cool at the same time. And we also have this in-game render of Octavia Silva. Now Octane's abilities were leaked a while back which you can see on screen now. But his ultimate ability it seems its name has changed according to a recent data mine file. His ultimate will now be called Full Throttle. Okay, so we're going to move on and next up we have Watson. Now I theorised on Watson's background a while back. Natalie Paquette aka Watson is the daughter of Luke Paquette. Luke is an electronical engineer who I speculated made a few weapons we see in game. Weapons such as the Havoc Rifle, where we see Watson's name on the back of the weapon. Now that video of me covering Watson and putting together the pieces and linking her past can be found within the video description if you do want to check it out. On screen now we see an in-game render, which although it isn't of the best quality, it's all we have at the minute people. So a while back, literally within the first week of release, we saw many names there to mind which we believed were possible future legends. Today I can say I believe we have images and in-game renders to go with these leaked and data mined names. So firstly we have Crypto. Now Crypto seems to be the alter ego of Taochum, the Korean legend seen in the original Pathfinder concept art. Taochum can be seen within the background on what looks to be a legend banner. This image of Taochem or Crypto is the first we have seen data mined from the game. And this is a legend I believe we might see towards the end of Season 1 or possibly introduced with Season 2. Next up we have who's believed to be Husaria. We see on screen now the one image we have seen data mined from the game who's believed to be this legend of Husaria. No in-game render at the moment has been found leading me to believe Husaria won't be introduced for another few seasons. Next up we have a legend who's believed to be Jericho. Now this legend at first was believed to be Mirage's brother but that was all speculation. No information proven factual was found to back that up. Just theories. And great theories in that. On screen now we can see both artwork for this new legend and an in-game render of him also. Next up we have a legend who's believed to be called Nomad. A legend again determined a while back. And first impressions of this dude I think he looks really cool. That's for sure. We can also see on the screen now his in-game render. Next up we have a legend who's believed to be a legend that was data mined a while back called Prophet. Prophet we saw files on not long after we saw files on Octane and Watson. Also for Prophet people found what was believed to be an ability and the ability was called Precog, short for Precognition, meaning the ability to see future events. Future events in game like Apex Legends would only work for ways of possibly seeing where the next circle will be, where high tier loot might be or maybe where supply drops will be landed. But I wouldn't think it would be anything more than that, in my honest opinion. It would be boring OP if it was. And for this legend, at the moment we only have an in-game render of who's believed to be Prophet. No in-game artwork has been found at the moment. Next up we have Rampart, both in-game artwork for as well as an in-game render. Again, Rampart was one of the first names we saw data mined, and I believe this is a legend who will be coming with Season 3. 
Next up we have Rosie. Now at first I believed the data mine files we saw for Rosie would be that of an NPC, but now it seems as though she will be a playable legend. On screen now we see official in-game artwork on someone who's believed to be Rosie as well as an in-game render of a legend. And lastly guys we have Skunner, another legend's name who we saw data mined within the first few weeks. We see an in-game render as well as actual in-game data mined artwork. So that's pretty cool people. Now I will say guys that besides Octane, Watson and Telchum, these legends have been paired to names data mined due to little research of various things, but nothing until confirmed by Respawn is factual and should definitely be taken with a pinch of salt, that is for sure. One thing I'm pretty certain on though people is the two legends we originally saw within the Battle Pass trailer a while back who are really hard to make out. I'm pretty certain these legends now are Octane and Watson. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and want to stay up to date with the latest Apex Legends news and leaks, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by smashing that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.